Well, after a hard morning at the flea market, it's time for a beer, and I figure what? We'll do another beer review. And here we have Lucky Buddha beer from China. From what I could find out about it, it's brewed in China with the local water and rice and uh, hops, making it an Asian style lager. It comes in this real neat green bottle, which has a Buddha on it, and they say that the bottle has four symbols with the Buddha for good fortune, happiness, longevity, and prosperity. We could all use a little bit of that. Um, it's 4.8% alcohol, and it's an 11.16 fluid ounce bottle. This is imported to the USA. A very decorative, heavy bottle. It's nice. Uh, they said some reviews on it, and its flavor, you know, has earthly malts and citrus features noted of uh, lemon, grapefruit, wheat, and honey. So it makes it pretty unique. So that's all the wonderful stuff. It's a little bit more expensive. I got this at the food line. It was like a little over $10 a six pack, but um, the bottles alone are worth it. They're pretty neat. We'll look at the bottle here later. Gonna not have to do that. We're gonna pour it and get a head on it. It's kind of frosty, you can't see through it, but there we go. Pretty nice glass of beer. Not as light as the other ones, it got some color to it. Now let's take a slug. Yeah, this beer, this beer, when it has the color, it has the, the taste to it, or a little bit stronger taste. It is more of an earthy style, you know, you can taste it. Those other beers are pretty clean, crisp, the French beer and uh, the Italian beer. They were clean and good tasting, and you know... I'd say to more like a light beer. Didn't have an aftertaste or something. Where this one there, you know, it does have that earthy taste with hints of citrus. Still pretty good. This is something more of what I like, like a lager. A little bit of body and taste to it. You know, not that the other beers I reviewed were bad, but this one's pretty interesting in its own right. You know, and these are pretty heavy duty figured glass bottles. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, you got a souvenir with the bottle. That's pretty thick and heavy. It's pretty neat. And you have the Buddha holding the gold bar over his head. I mean, that's, that's substantial. So if anything, if you don't like the beer, you have a cool souvenir bottle you can, you know, do arts and crafts out of, like people said, candle holders or whatever. Soap dispensers they make out of them. Pretty neat bottle on there. But back to the beer. I've never had beer from China. When, when I got out of the service, my ship was one of the first ones to go back to China uh, since 1946 or something when the Chinese run us out. And the guy said that they had beer there uh, for them. I, I don't know what it was. But this is something new. This Lucky Buddha beer, I think it was 2010 they started brewing this, specifically probably for export. And when I was reading up about it, somehow Walmart's involved in marketing the stuff.
Ooh, pretty good. Now when I went to get the French beer, I seen a six pack of this. I said, man, that's cool. So I'll have to come back to the wine store and get it. I was in Lowe's grocery store just that or no, I was in the food line, the average food line, and they had it there. I said, wow, I'm here in food line buying bread and milk and stuff. I said, let me get some of that Lucky Buddha beer. And we can do a review. You know, something like this I'd like personally. I like the taste of it and, and a little bit stronger flavor. Uh, you know, earthy malts and the thing is citrus. You know, has a little more color than the other beers. But good. I gotta say, I, I kind of like it. Now, compared to the other ones I had, the Peroni and uh, the French 1664, the French 1664, I could, I could drink that like all day long, you know, that goes down. This here would be good with a meal, but like hanging around just drinking it all day, a little at a time, I, I don't know, maybe too much, you know. Kind of like I said, like Sam Adams, I don't mind it, but I can't drink, uh, you know, it every day, all day long. Same with this. This isn't a bad beer, having, you know, two or three, but if I was at a barbecue or something, I'd, I'd go with the others, but this is a good, for like with a meal or something, or when you're eating, this would be good. It has that taste. I wouldn't turn one down if somebody offered me one, put it to you that way. Another interesting beer. Lucky Buddha beer made in China. If you get a chance to try it, I recommend it. It's fairly good. And like I said, if you really don't like it, then you got the souvenir bottles, which is a plus. <laughs>